Mm -hmm. Hi, it's Mama Bear. How are you today? You know, have you took a moment to self-care, to self-love? Because it begins with you, it starts with self. If you don't take care of you, how can you take care of anyone else? So, this is your morning routine, a Mama Bear request more than anything. When you wake up in the morning, say thank you. You don't have to say thank you to anything specific or anyone specific, just say thank you. Because you know what? Some people didn't wake up this morning, and I don't mean to be morbid, but it's true. Somewhere, someone wasn't as blessed as you. So take your breath, a nice long deep breath. I want you to take a couple more breaths and I want you to breathe in the word gratitude and exhale to the word thank you. You can say them in your head, that's okay. I want you to start practicing this every morning as soon as you open your eyes, before you climb out of bed. And now as you race off to the bathroom or maybe you don't have to race, to brush your teeth, to wash your face, to pull your hair up, or, or br run a brush through it, or a comb. Mama Bear's favorite is the wet brush, thank you, because that thing is like heaven through someone's hair. Look in the mirror. Look into your eyes. Look into your soul. Some of you have been running for a long time. I want you to take this moment to look at yourself. See who you are. Some of you are resistant right now. Some of you don't want to. You fear it. You think that you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough. I want you especially to hear me. Those who are broken, those who are hurting, those who are suffering, listen to Mama Bear. It's okay. There is no such thing as shame, guilt, blame. All that's bullshit. Take a deep breath and look at yourself in the mirror. Look into your soul. And if you don't like what you see, that's okay. Awareness is half the battle. We at least have a starting point. We at least know where we can begin. All of those things that you see as flaws, all of those things you hate about yourself, release them. Write them down on a paper, put them in a journal, release them. If you need to set it on fire because you don't ever want anyone to see, release it. Tear it into a million pieces. Just be safe, please. Just put it on a <laughs> bottle rocket and send that shit to the moon, all right? <laughs> Just get it out of you. Every day work a little bit more. Follow this again. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am beautiful inside and out. I am worth fighting for. God loves me just the way I am. And I love me too. Thank you, Father. Holy, healthy, happy. Gratitude. Thank you. Amen. Now the first half of this saying, I learned in a recovery program from a woman that was much smarter than me. And I'll keep her name private so that I can respect her. We can just call her the color blue because that's her favorite. And she is so beautiful. And I bet you if she saw this, she would say, yes, I'm sending out my love and prayers to you. Because we are love alive, yo, that's what it's all about. So when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, repeat those words again and again and again until you can learn to believe them. Because I swear to you, Mama Bear, don't give no fake compliments, okay? It's like this. You are holy, you are worthy. You are. 
And if you start praying this prayer every single day, holy, healthy, happy, thank you, gratitude, amen. I guarantee you things will start to change for you. I guarantee you, you will see. Because this is what happened to me. For so long, I wanted more than the empty vessel that was walking around on this planet consuming. I needed something better. I needed to find a freedom to help myself out of these cages I've locked myself in. Thank you, Need to Breathe. Check that song out if you haven't heard it. <laughs> I needed something to satisfy my soul. And I tried to run from this. I tried to hide from it. I tried to, to get away. I tried to plead. I tried to deceive. I tried to... That hurt me. I prolonged my pain and suffering. I prolonged my hurt, my ache. I prolonged it. And without reason, without why, I don't know. As you tremble down, tremble as you stumble down the stairs because it's morning time and you have your first whatever it is, water, coffee, food, put something in your body to start your metabolism, to start your day. You cannot run a car without gasoline, so put something into your body. And B, he'll be, he always be saying, make sure you get something green every day. So make sure you're eating a green vegetable. Make sure you're eating some fruit and stay hydrated, people. Do you know that a huge percent of illnesses uh, are just, um, you're, you're, you cut back your percentage if you just stay hydrated. I'm sorry, I'm struggling to talk. I'm getting ahead of myself. You see, I struggle with anxiety. I struggle with many things. But I've learned coping skills, and I've grown, and I've changed. That's what happened when I became a mommy. My whole life, all I ever wanted to be, and now it's true. Yesterday I wept, I cried. At my daughter's crib, I laid my head at the floor with her crib above me. And I just wept, and I asked God, why? Why did I deserve it? There's so many people suffering. Why are all my dreams coming true? I don't get it. And the word I heard was gratitude. You can be the biggest asshole on the planet if you want, but find it in your heart to have some gratitude. At least you get to be an asshole. <laughs> like, come on. We need to find reasons to smile and work on things that bring us joy, contentment, and peace. Life can be simple if you just let it, if you just get out of the way and surrender and trust. Mom Bear out. We are love alive, yo. Blessings.